So in this example, we have a binomial times a trinomial. We have x plus 3 times quantity x squared plus 5x minus 8. Um, FOIL will not work on this, so don't try it. Oh, you're welcome to try it. Uh, it won't work. Instead, we need to do uh, what I call a double distribute. All right, take this x through and distribute it to all three of these. Okay, double distribute, and then we'll take this 3 and distribute it through to all three of these again. All right, so these can get a little bit lengthy, but it's nothing to be worried about. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm taking this x through first to all of these terms. x times x squared, x, let's just keep it drawn out at first here. x times x squared, it's just like that. Okay, plus 5x times 5x, plus x, or I'm going to do a minus here, because we have this minus, so minus x times 8. Okay, now I'm going through with a 3. We have 3 times x squared, plus 3 times x squared. 3 times 5x, plus 3 times 5x. All right, 3 times minus 8, minus 3 times 8. All right, and there's always a lot of cleaning up to do at the end of these. So let's see here. x to the first times x squared is x to the 1 plus 2, which is x to the 3 power. Plus, all right, here we go. x times 5x is 5. x to the 1 plus 1 is 2, so x squared minus 8x plus 3x squared. Over here we have 15x plus 15x minus 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, it seems like we're done, but we're not. We can still combine like terms here. Look at that. We have those two that go together, the x squareds and then we have the x's go together. All right, so that leaves us with x cubed. 5x squared plus 3x squared is 8x squared, so plus 8x squared. X is here, we have minus 8x plus 15x is plus 7x, and then minus 24. Now we can't combine any more terms because they're not like terms. The x's would have to be identical. They'd have to be x cubed and x cubed, for instance. So that's as far as we can go. There's our final answer.